good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. Today is Tuesday, November 12th. It's 9 o'clock. I've been kind of holding off for a little bit, looking for a load. I uh, got one for tomorrow in, went back to Milwaukee Tool in uh, Olive Branch, Mississippi. Uh, go, taking a load back up to <clears throat> Home Depot in uh, Lucky, Ohio. This was a, a better rate. But the issue with this one is the Milwaukee, I go pick up and load a trailer. And I'm supposed to go 15 miles from there to do a live load to pick up some more product. The issue that I got going on in my head right now is when you go to Milwaukee Tool, they have the those piston seals, you know those hard seals, the, the real the, the metal bar seals. Um, they call them piston seals, and those things, they don't, they're not easy to come off. They will not let you, they don't let you leave the yard without putting that seal. Now, they don't put the seal on for you. Like, you get back there, you go pick the trailer up, you go inspect the, the open it up, the seal's laying in the back for you. And before you leave that yard, they make sure that seal is on. So, I don't know if there's uh, something specific about this particular order to where everybody's on the same page saying, hey, the driver's going to pick his trailer up, go a little, looks like a fan, called Hunter Fan Company, and go finish out the load. And then I put the seal on at the next stop, um, and plus the other seal probably. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll figure it out when I get there, but I'm going to let them know I got your, your, your stop one, I got a stop two. I can't leave here with the seal on, otherwise it's going to get broke off at the next place. We're going to figure that out as it goes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're just like six hours from away, so it's uh, we should be there at 3, 30, 4 o'clock um, to drop this load off at Sam's in CRC, Arkansas. And then it's 120 miles from there to uh, Olive Branch. So what I'll probably do is I'll go to the West Memphis OC tonight and sleep. So that's, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'll sleep there tonight. Uh, get a shower so I wasn't able to get one here last night. Uh, I can do another load of laundry. I can, use, I can get a lot of load of laundry out the way. And, yeah, just hang out there for the night. And then uh, get up in the morning and go, we'll go, back, we'll go back to Ohio. So, but let me get, uh, let me get moving. I'm going to walk inside here. I'm going to grab some breakfast. And, yeah, get this, get this show on the road. All right, y'all, we are in Newport, Arkansas. We pulled over. We are literally 44 miles away. From, that's not right. We're 36 miles away. Or I got off the, the thing, GPS. To him. We're 36 miles away from, from uh, Sam's. Uh, but I couldn't hold it no more. I had to pee. I was like, well, while I'm here, I'm going to take a 30-minute break. I've been here 17 minutes. So I walked inside. Used the, the restrooms and... I wound up grabbing a chicken sandwich. I got a chicken sandwich from Chester's, the Honey Stung Fried Chicken Sandwich. I'm not sure what the Honey Stung part is. I'm sure it's got some sort of sauce on there, but I've never tried it. I figured I'd grab something before I move on to later. Just to kind of tide me over. I'll tell you what, I saw a, I saw a whole rack of it. Little Debbie. So tempting to grab a freaking zebra crake slash Christmas tree cake, but I really like them Swiss rolls or honey buns. But I didn't, I didn't do it. I did get another monster though. Someone's like, "Why do you like these big ones better? Why, why just the white?" I tell you why. I tell you why I grab the white most of the time because you can't ever find the big ones, the twenty four ounces in any other flavor. At least I haven't. Uh, on the west side of Charleston, back home, they had grape, but not. Everywhere has the big cans in a different flavor of the Zero. Of course, you get the original Monster, but I like them because of the lid. Uh, I, uh, the other night, that lid actually saved me because I knocked the damn thing over while I was messing with the computer. Anyway, yeah, let's try this. I'm not sure what this sauce is, but...
I guess more like a honey barbecue, but why stung? I don't know. All right. I'm going to eat this sandwich. We're going to go on down the road. Oh, there's some heat back here. Okay, there's where the stung comes in. <laughs> you got some heat? Mm. Yeah, let me eat this. Right now it's uh, 225. We'll be there in about 35 minutes. Drop it off. There's a love nearby. I'm going to go over the loves. And then just contemplate what I'm going to do from there. So let's, uh, let's get on going. Well, I bet you can't guess what I couldn't find at the, the Sam's when I dropped off. I'll give you a thousand guesses. I bet you never. Yeah, you, you'll guess for the first time. Guess what? An empty. <laughs> so I sat there for about an hour waiting for them to make a decision. So they uh, they got me going down to uh, Medline, which is about 15 miles from where I pick up uh, Milwaukee Tools to pick one up. So, But I decided, it's already aggravated. That you before after our last clip before I left out that from 30 minute break, I did call them. Remember how I was telling you this morning about the double live or the pickup and the live load of Milwaukee? But I know Milwaukee will not let you leave the site with that piston seal they got on. Any other seal wouldn't be a big deal, whatever. I would break it, we'd cut it, whatever. You need a big ass pair of bolt cutters to cut those damn things. I ain't got a big ass pair of bolt cutters because people who get seals like that have those bolt cutters or they have the electronic ones, the battery power ones that just smash this them off. Anyway, I called. I was like, it's going to be a problem. Do we have a, a deal set up with them for this load to where I can go somewhere else and have the load, you know, to where they say, well, usually what happens is, uh, and they don't know. They have no clue. Nobody in that office has a clue how it works out here in the world. They don't know what's going on. When I said piss and seal, she said, huh? Huh? And it wasn't my normal BOA. This is that dumbass that I got rid of months ago. Um, or not a. She's like, I'm talking to customer service. She's like, well, the way they usually do this is they'll go ahead and load up from one. They'll go over there, and the other team will cut it off, and then they'll uh, they'll uh, they'll put their own seal on when they're done. Milwaukee Tools is high value load. I mean, it's full of freaking power tools, right? And I'm going to a freaking fan company. I mean, just the people loading. The trailer with that extra crap get have an access to all well i don't know why it's bugging me so much it's not my shit it's not my responsibility i'm only responsible for getting from a to b to c this in this case usually just a to b i don't know it's aggravating me <laughs> 
But I am at this Love's, two miles away from the Sam's where I dropped that load off. And I've never been to that location. I thought I might have been, but it didn't look familiar to me at all. Unless they put this chain link fence up, this big fence up since the last time I was there. It just, it didn't really ring any visual bell for me. So, and this hat, I'm trying to wear it more so it can stretch out because it's a little tight on my head. It's not a flex fit. It's just an XL fitted. And I got a seven, like if I, if I, if I wear a fitted hat, it used to be seven and five eighths when I have my hair cut. Well, my hair's out. I mean, I got I got a head full of hair. Some people say I got a bald spot back here. That ain't true. I got a head full of hair, and it's thick ass hair too. So, um, who got yelled at throughout my life for going bald or shaving? And I said, "You got such shut up, Linda." This like, they're like, "You got such beautiful hair. Why you cut it all off?" People would love to have your head head of hair. Anyhow. Um, yeah, I'm not bald up here, but I, I'm trying to stretch his hat out so it fits a little better. But this is that, you know, that test that test purchase that I bought. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some other. I'm still looking for other options, and I, and I, that my, that my, my my merch that I purchased for myself is actually in Houston waiting on me. So I'll get down there in the next couple of weeks to test that stuff out. Beanies and the duffel bag and the the sack pack and. I don't know what else I got. It's for like $140 and all that shit, though. No, I don't get discount. I pay what you pay. <laughs> well, unless there's a discount, a sale going on. That's what I pay. So, I don't know. I'm going to hang out here at the Loves. I'm the Loves two hours, two, two miles away. This place does have a Hardee's and a Subway. I'm not hungry because it's only been a few hours since uh, I had that chicken sandwich from uh, that Jordan's place we stopped at there. It's only been a, hell, I ain't been at, how long has it been? Two and a half hours, three hours almost. Yeah, that's all it's been. So I'm not hungry. But I'm going to go in here and look and see what type of laundry. Because I've learned there's a couple of different scanners that these truck, some truck stops use. Because I have, what's that one? It's called CS Pay App. You can pay through the app. Some places you have to put quarters in. Some places you can just use the app. If I can use the app, I might go ahead and do a load of laundry here. And then get a shower here too. I like love showers better than uh, Pilot Flying J. Hell, I even like them better overall than the OCs because you get a couple OCs that got a really good high pressure hot, just like a truck stop. It's hit and miss. You never know. And I've never been to this one before. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm Bob Tail right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll get up in the morning. And I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'm, I'm 96 miles away from Memphis, 100 and 100 miles away. Whatever. Let's see. Let's look at this thing. It tells me right here from the from the Sams, 114 miles away to the Medtronic place. I'm supposed to go grab an empty. And then from there, I'm 18 miles away from Milwaukee Tool over at Island Branch. Then from there, I'm 15 miles away from Hunter Fanco in Bihala, Mississippi. And then from there, 685 miles to Lucky, Ohio, the Home Depot. Looks like the appointment starts for this on Friday at midnight or Friday morning at 001 a.m., which will be Saturday night, midnight, 12.01, or Thursday night, midnight. My plan is to drop this bitch off on Thursday. Because tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah, today's Tuesday the 12th. Tomorrow's Wednesday the 13th. Oh, no, Thursday's the 14th. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never, 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 never mind. So, okay, I'm dropping off Thursday, so I can go ahead and... I've been holding off. I got I to load saved for friday and i hadn't booked it because i didn't think it would let me because i thought this is actually scheduled for friday but it's scheduled for thursday so let me go in here right really really quick really quick it's a load going to an unknown error has occurred okay log off let's log back in boom 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 all right back in shipment search favorites 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 come on Give me, give me. Oh, there's not there no more. No, no, no. Oh, did I unfavor it? I think I, I think I know why I unfavor it. Actually, let's see. Let's do a uh, 120 miles confirmed search. Because it, it was a Friday pickup going to Dallas. Didn't deliver until Monday. Because I'm getting low on hours. I can pick it up on Friday. I 
I could uh, squeeze a reset in somewhere over the weekend and possibly get my freaking schedule to where I want it to be. That's an interesting load there. Let me hold off on that for a second. Thursday, 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 Friday, Wednesday, 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 Thursday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday in Marysville, Thursday, nine, uh, okay. Th Marysville, Pensacola, I'd like to have that one, it's a hundred, it's a dollar to four mile, but one, it picks up at 9 a.m. on Thursday, which I won't be done by then, and then two, it doesn't deliver till Tuesday, the 19th at 10 a.m., so, uh, no, thank you, ma'am. Something to get to something oh, Friday, Ashley, Indiana is a cow pen, South Carolina. No, I don't think so. Here's the Marysville, Ohio on Friday going to Evans, Georgia. That doesn't deliver till Monday. It's a live load and live unload, but I can squeeze a reset in. It's 1181 dollars, dollar 68 a mile. Not horrible. But here's a little better one, Southgate, Michigan, to Salem, Virginia, $1.97 a mile. But that delivers Saturday at 9 o'clock, 2100 Not this guy. Here's that Dallas run. $1.60 a mile, $17.94. New Concord, Ohio to Dallas, 30 to 26,000 pounds. Live load Friday morning at 10.30. Delivery drop and hook Monday between 3 and 6. 3 and 4. Yeah, 1,500 to 1,600 p.m. On, on Monday. Now, if I pick it up Friday morning, I can park somewhere Saturday afternoon, early evening. Odds are I'll be in West Memphis. If I'm thinking, now that I, maybe. Yeah, West Memphis will probably be it. I do a reset there at the OC. Have full amenities available. And then leave out of there Monday morning and be in Dallas by 4 o'clock. That's no problem from West Memphis. Was that 400 miles? 450 by 440? Yeah, let's do it. You know what? Well, let's see here. problem I'm having there with the load that I just the load that I'm doing tomorrow let me just favorite this real quick I'm doing I'm telling you guys this is the shit you gotta think about out here when you're running your own loads so let's look select the shipments select the, why did I say it so weird select the shipments so this load that I'm picking up in the morning it is it pays $1,200 Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, I, thought, I was thinking fourteen. No, no, no. The fourteen was the one I did not get because of the timing. All right, so that one pays twelve hundred dollars, and the one that I'm this Dallas load would pay. Eighteen hundred, seventeen ninety four. You know, I don't do precision, so eight, that's three thousand. I would need to get another run for out of Dallas, but see, that's that just delivers. It's a dropping hook. I can drop that shit off anytime Monday, but I but I can't squeeze a race in, which is kind of the whole point. So if I do a search from Dallas on Monday, not Dallas, Ohio, Dallas, Texas. Let's just keep it out there default. Let's go to Monday, 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 Monday. If I can get a thousand or more. Have something delivered by Tuesday afternoon for payroll. So we have four and squeezing and reset. So what is Monday? Today's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18th, the 18th. Monday will be the 18th. I need something that extends to the 18th. I can deliver it to the 19th. That's what I need. I know some of y'all think this is boring, but you know what? This is real life shit, all right? 
I need something for Monday. You gotta learn how to daisy chain your loads up, man. I need something for Monday. So much, so many loads between now and then. There's a good Roanoke, Texas to Blakesley, Pennsylvania. Well, not good when you look at the details. 40,000 pounds, buck, well, the rate was 2,300. That's the first thing you caught. Then you go down and look at everything. No, it's not good at all. But Texas is sort of like not as bad as Florida. They're about the same. You can always get a decent rate to go down pretty much. But it's hard to get out. Or easy to get out, just hard to get a decent a decent rate while you're to get out. Or what most will consider decent. Come on, load up. I need to get something for Monday. Monday, 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 the 18th. I'm running out of the list. I know that. Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. All right, I got two more pages of trips. Anything coming up on Monday? There's a Monday for 250 in Wilmer. Dallas to, I'm not going to Wisconsin. Ain't happening. Mm, that's 43,000 pounds, too. No. There's one from La Crosse to La Crosse, Wisconsin, from Dallas. $1,500, $1.60 a mile. Last page. Nothing. All right, we're going to hold off before we book anything. And that shit happens. Watch. I'm, I'm, hmm. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off and see what happens. Anyway, let me, I don't know what's going to do. I don't know what we're going to do yet here, but uh, I'm going to just pause and uh, we'll see what happens here in a little bit. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here still in the lows. It's uh, 530 right now. But I want you to give me your opinion. The last three days, and it was actually called out today by by J uh, J Squared. He caught it. He's like, "What the hell?" Uh, he didn't know exactly what I was going. He was asking a question about today's video um, about the color and the editing. So, I've been doing a test. This is day three. This is video three of the test because this camera. I'm trying different settings and functionings, and it's got multiple color modes, right? So when I first got this camera. Day one was zero editing at all. That was normal, normal stuff. Uh, zero editing, zero color correction, nothing. A couple days, I did a couple of color corrections, still using the normal camera, uh, normal color mode of the camera. Yesterday, I did HLG mode. And hang on. Dag on. I forgot what today's called. All right, and today is called D Log M. I don't know what that means. All I know is I'm going to have here in just a second, I'm going to show you a, a, a picture. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to have a listing for all three color grades. First column is going to be the raw video from the camera, directly from the camera, zero editing. The second column is going to be an example of how I did my color correction on each of those videos, right? So here's what I want you to do. Let me know in, 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 the, in the comments of which of the three, whether without color correct correction or with color correction, which one, which which color mode you think looks best, and under that color mode, color correction or none. So let me know. I I, I like to play with editing and, and 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 I like high saturation personally. But again, I'm not the viewer, which is why I thought today's video looked really good, even though it was bright. I like bright, okay? I like contrast and brightness. But again, I'm not the viewer. My whole point of this is to make the content for you guys, for you, the viewer, right? So I need your opinion. I don't care. To me, it doesn't matter. I'm making, I'm, I'm, I record the videos, and when I go to edit them, it's, it's for the viewer, the viewer experience. So that's, that's all this is about. Uh, I was hoping I can get to this point without someone noticing or calling me out on it. <laughs> a quiet test, so to speak. So, yeah, I'm going to make up a little thing right now. And it's going to be there for you to look at it. I'll, the videos will be, I might have to make your screen a little bigger so you can look at each of the videos. It'll be the same clip, just raw from the camera and edited for each mode. So just let me know your pick. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate it. Don't forget about the shop. The shop is the link in, in the description. And right now, 22% off everything. I noticed that last night. I, was in, I'm, I'm, I go in there looking for ideas of things, right? 22% off everything. I don't know when that ends. I didn't 
I don't remember. But uh, go check it out. If there's something you like, go right ahead. Thank you so much. Appreciate all the support. Love you guys. And we'll see you in the morning.